It's no doubt that global climate change is real and we're facing a serious climate crisis that will continue to lead to more news articles like this, this, and this. And quite possibly the biggest culprit of the changes in extreme weather that we're seeing is how we produce our energy. So fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas are by far the largest contributors to global climate change. 75% of global greenhouse emissions, 90% of all carbon dioxide emissions. And this is the point that we typically envision a future that looks like this, completely powered by solar and wind energy. And while sources like wind and solar have experienced terrific growth in the last 20 years, these will soon plateau as we deal with you know, connecting complexity, um, storage requirements. It's an oversimplification, but it's not always sunny. It's not always windy. So let's talk about the best chance that we have to create powerful, sustainable, and clean energy, nuclear. Just like solar and wind in the last two decades, nuclear had their own period of rapid expansion in their first 20 years. In the 60s and 70s, nuclear had become Earth's cheapest energy source, even costing less than coal. But in the 60s and 70s, climate change wasn't a huge issue, especially for Americans. And nuclear just didn't seem as important. And then we saw major disasters like Fukushima and Chernobyl that really started swaying public opinion and sentiment towards nuclear. And how safe is it really? And so this led to a decrease in the amount of reactors that we built um, after 1980 and around 1990. You can see this plateau and even decrease as we de decommissioned a lot of our reactors. And now we're beginning to see a resurgence of nuclear energy for a number of reasons, including safety, costs, and even energy independence, which is becoming a, a really hot topic recently. Let's dive into that first piece, safety. So surprisingly, nuclear is actually probably the safest form of energy production that we could experience. This is just a chart here um, showing the number of fatalities and deaths. Now, we typically think about those major disasters, a lot of those times unrelated to the actual energy kind of production source. Um, and this huge chart here, I mean, if we want to talk about safety of different energy sources, it, it's even safer than wind and solar in some cases. And just a quick disclaimer, I am I do not work for a nuclear company. I feel strongly about how we need to change our energy infrastructure in America and globally. Um, and I think this is a major piece of it. And so the sooner that we change public sentiment around nuclear, um, the sooner that we can get to, you know, slowing down or reversing the effects of climate change.